Let's look at some information about getting information about a file on your Mac. First of all, I have two documents right here. One is called answer.wave, that is an audio file. The other one is chapter one, home, you can't read the whole thing because there isn't enough space there. Uh, it's limited. But anyway, if the name of the file is really over here, chapter one, homework, blank, dot, doc. So I have the two files already open in terms of the information for them. The way you do is to select a file, and the simplest one is simply Command-I, which I, uh, is I for information. And it opens up a, a little dialog box, one over here, Answer Wave Info, that file or that dialog box is grayed out because it's not the active one. This is the chapter one, it's also grayed out, and I just need to select which one I want. In this case, I'll select it. You can see it's now the active window. Now, what kind of information do we get? Down here, it says that this is a Microsoft Word document. It gives me the size, where it's located on my computer, when it was created, and when it was modified. I, beneath that, I have some methods of changing the color, and this is called a label. Here you can see there's red, etc. You choose the color. Watch what happens to this icon. I'm going to make it red. So it just changes the color to help draw your attention to it or to help you group things together in a visual way. Beneath that, you'll see down here name and extension. The name of the file is chapter one homework blank.doc. I think I've just changed my mind and instead of chapter one homework blank, I'm going to call it chapter one questions. So I'm going to click, draw across that, and I'll type in questions. So the file name of the file is, is now Chapter 1 Homework Questions. Notice it hasn't changed this up here because it won't change, nor has it changed here, until I actually close this Get Info, Info window. But before we do that, let's look down a little bit further. Open with Microsoft Word app. That tells you that the default application uh, for this particular file is Microsoft Word. If I would like to change that for some reason, I could click and choose an application that would open the file if I were to double click on it in the future. Now that's not a good idea to change it because the file will lose some information in terms of formatting etc when you when you open it with a different program other than one it was uh, used to create it. So I'm going to click there and now I think I'm through with this one so I'm going to go ahead and, and hit, hit the close box. Remember I changed the name it's not showing yet so I'm going to go ahead and click it and there you'll see the name of the file is now chapter1questions.doc. Let's go over here and look at this one. This is answer.wave. It's an audio file. You have the same sort of information and the same kind of capability in, in terms of changing the color, if you wish. And down beneath, beneath it, there's the name of the file, answer.wave. I've decided that I don't want anyone to mess with this file, so I'm going to lock it. First, before I do that, notice the icon. Now, that, that arrow simply appears because it's ready for me to play the audio file. But uh, I'm going to click on Locked right here. And when I do, you'll see a little lock appear on that icon. Now, also, the name is grayed out so that I can't change it. So I'm locking it to, to keep myself or someone else from accidentally changing that name or uh, doing other things to it, like what application you're going to open it with. So I'm going to change my mind now. I'm going to uh, unlock it. You can see now it's available. And it said answer. I'm going to call it question. And let's close it up. And you'll see the name of the file is now question.wave. So that's a little thing about getting info for files on your Mac. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.